So, I really actually don't know where to begin with all of this. What has come out on Twitter, social media over the last couple of days with regards to the speaking out movement has actually really saddened me to my core. Wrestling and me have always had a bit of a love-hate relationship. Um, I never got into it because I was a fan, ever. I got into it because I wanted to support my husband. He wanted to, or was given the chance to set up a wrestling school. And he'd been wrestling since the age of 16. And I uh, said to him, right, you know, if we're gonna do this, it needs to be done properly because I wanna make sure that mm -hmm. we have standards and that, you know, you're safe, the people who we train are safe and that everything is above board. So I came on as a manager of Fight Factory Wrestling and I made sure mm -hmm. that safeguarding policies were put in place, health and safety policies were put in place. And I went out and I learned or tried to learn as much as I could about the business. We run a ring hire business as well as a show business. And I prided myself in knowing that pretty much any wrestling ring I could put up. Because when people step foot inside that wrestling ring, it's up to me to make sure that they're safe. Because if I've done something wrong, then that puts them in danger. And not only does it put the wrestlers in danger, it puts the public in danger. But wrestling isn't just about a physical thing. It's not just about the sport. It's about the personas and the entertainment and the stories. And when you're online, those personas and those stories get blurred. So we all have an online persona, an online character, but then do we actually know the person behind the character at all? Because online people only show you what they want you to see. And in fact, actually, when they're in a locker room and they're in the wrestling ring, they only show you what you, what they want you to see. So my online persona is Miss Rebecca, a player heel character. I am the bad manager of Fight Factory Wrestling. In the ring, I can be known as an out and out bitch. I'm underhanded and I try to claim I'm fair. Out of the ring, aside from wrestling, away from all of that, I'm a mum of four. I'm a student nurse. I'm just about to complete my second year of training. Two of my children have additional needs. And as an SEN mum, it's really difficult. One of my children, I had to deal with some really horrible safeguarding issues. Some that a mum should never, ever, ever have to deal with. Predatory safeguarding issues. And I had to fight for my child to make sure that he was safe. So, I understand the ins and outs of the laws of safeguarding and how things can be covered up and how sometimes social services don't help you and how sometimes there's not always the proof that these things happen but you have a gut feeling. And to read all the stories of abuse that's coming out across the wrestling world actually breaks my heart that these women and men I might add have not been able to come forward so far until now and the fact that they've come forward is so bloody brave people have been crying out and saying that you know there should be more female promoters more female managers in wrestling I'm here I'm here running fight factory wrestling alongside my husband and I try my hardest to make sure that it's run fairly, that the safeguarding policies are adhered to, that I can go to bed at night and sleep knowing that I've done a good job. But we don't always get it right. 
and on occasion things go wrong because as a previous tweet I put out bullies sucker you in they befriend you they find things out about you that you know you're close personal things you think they're a friend and sometimes your judgments a bit blinded and I had that once but boy were my eyes opened massively massively opened and it'll never happen again believe me I'd like to think that Fight Factory is a safe place where our students can come to train and they can come forward to us. We have an independent safeguarding officer who is separate from the training school, who is qualified in everything safeguarding. You name it, she knows it. And I also know that this person would tell us if we were doing anything wrong. Wrestling, pro wrestling, training schools, entertainment should be a safe place and right now it doesn't feel like a very safe place to be. So I need to urge all of you who have suffered at the hands of any abusers, any unprofessional conduct, anything, that you come forward, you tell the trainers, the wrestling schools, but then you also go to the authorities because this needs dealing with. Because like me, other people away from wrestling have other personas. They're care workers, they're nurses, they're solicitors, they're school teachers, they're people who could be in positions of power, yet their wrestling lives and their personal lives are kept separate. So this needs dealing with properly. It needs dealing with by the police and the relevant authorities because that's the only way that we're gonna wheedle these people out. And British wrestling right now is well aware that there are crooks and there are abusers and sex pests within its realms. And they will be flushed out because there is no room for them. But what there's also not room for is those that falsely accuse people because they have a vendetta or they might have had a bit of a falling out. Work on evidence, work on proof, don't do hearsay because people have lives and these lives can be irreparably damaged. Thank you for coming forward and continue to do so, but let's make sure we do it in the right way. I am Fight Factory, I represent mm -hmm. Fat Factory, but I represent myself. I'm a mum and my 16 year old daughter is trying to break out into the scene. And I don't like the scene that she's going to be going into at the minute. So my priority is to keep her safe. Fight Factory is a place of safety. It always will be, and it always has been. And I want the whole of the pro wrestling industry to be that safe place again. It's just my two pennies worth. Thank you.